Mission Impossible Fallout. So Mission Impossible Fallout tells a story about Ethan Hunt going on yet another quest to stop a madman from arming nuclear bombs. This movie stars Tom Cruise, Henry Cavill, Simon Pegg, Vin Rames, and Donald Trump. What can I say about this movie that hasn't already been said by other critics? This movie is awesome. This movie is f***ing badass. This movie is more badass than drinking out of the unicorn cup while holding a cat. Every other scene in this movie is an action scene and very suspenseful and the director knows how to do that. It keeps you on your the edge of your seat throughout this whole movie. There's a scene in this movie where there's a fight between Henry Cavill or Superman. That's what we'll call him, Superman. He's facing off with Tom Cruise against his Asian guy and they have to kick the shit out of him, but he's giving them a run for their money. And it just, every blow feels real. It doesn't feel, it feels not fake at all. It's very well choreographed and this guy knows how to shoot action. It's probably my favorite scene in the whole movie, actually. You got a few car chasing scenes, Tom Cruise running as always, like he always does. There's a scene at the end where the helicopter crashes and it kind of reminds you of the, eleva the elevator shafts and Die Hard 4. It's a very suspenseful moment. There's a few moments in this movie that definitely would look good in 3D. There wasn't that many aspects of this movie that were like, oh yeah, that would look good in 3D. Just the end. This is a two and a half hour long movie, so it can feel long in some parts. It can kind of drag on, but when the action gets going, it's worth it. This is a movie where you have to pay attention to everything that's being said or you will miss out. If you don't know whose name is who and who's this guy, what's that guy's name again, you will be lost. There are so many twists and deception and just deceiving people that if you just don't pay attention you will feel lost and bet in fact I bet most people going to this movie will feel confused at some moments and you will have to stop and digest what was going on. This is the second movie in this franchise to actually be directed by the same director. Every movie has had a different director. Even J.J. Abrams got to direct one. Probably my favorite, the third one. This movie is probably the best if not maybe the second best of this franchise it was very unique there's a scene where they jump out of a plane and they have to go through like a storm cloud and there's like lightning everywhere and you're just like <coughs> simon Pegg, as usual he's hilarious and ving rames has a few one-liners you get that one female character played by rebecca ferguson i don't know her name I guess I don't pay attention too much. Liza, she has a weird name. She comes back from the previous movie into this one, and once again, she's like working for Ethan, but also against him because, you know, what she wants and has to do is against what Ethan has to do. So there's like a conflict there. You need to walk away. Please don't make me go through you. But they still love each other. My only main negative with this movie is that sometimes it can be confusing and a little, if you just don't pay attention for one second, you might miss something. There's a few moments where you feel like, how do they plan that so quickly. And of course, the motivation for this bad guy or the bad guys is just the same, like we want to destroy the earth because we think that will be a good thing. They don't really convince me of their argument. I don't believe in what they're selling. I'm not buying it. But other than that, this movie is really good. It's got a memorable villain and that's what you need in an action movie. You have to have a memorable villain and this is a villain who you will remember because of just the way he portrayed his character and the, the voice. So overall, this movie was very fun. It was kind of slow in some parts, but overall, I would say this movie is definitely worth going to see at theaters, and when it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray, I recommend that you definitely buy it. So those are my thoughts on the Mission Impossible Fallout, the sixth movie in this franchise. I think they'll make more. I hope they do. Have you seen this movie yet? Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe and to click on my sexy face in five seconds. And until next time, I'll see you this scene.